The word for today, help through difficulties, too. Here are two more things Joseph understood that may be helpful for you, too. One, you can't afford to give in to self-pity. Perhaps you're going through a trial right now and you're an innocent party, the victim of a situation you didn't cause. Consider Joseph's reaction when he was in a similar position. The first thing he didn't do was to be swamped by self-pity. Why? Because it would have pulled him down further. Often when we experience a serious problem and our self-esteem is already at its lowest ebb, we start blaming ourselves and putting ourselves down. Joseph didn't do that. He understood that the crisis he was in wasn't of his own making, and he tried to look at it realistically. When you're in a storm and you allow your boat to turn sideways, the storm will capsize you. Similarly, when storms come into your life, the best way to overcome them is to trust God and to face them head on like Joseph did. Two, never make a major decision when you're feeling low. Many times when we're discouraged, we're tempted to say, I'm going to give up, or I'm going to switch jobs, or I'm going to move away, or I'm going to file for divorce. Please don't do that. When you're downcast and despondent, your feelings are unreliable. Your focus becomes blurred and you lose your perspective when it comes to exercising good judgment. Trust God to bring you through difficult situations. Say with the psalmist, in God I have put my trust. I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? Psalm 56 verse 4. That is the word for today.